This video is for you if you want to be a better leader. Hello, Peter. What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Welcome back to part three of the three-part series on leadership. I am going to go through all 21 of John Maxwell's irrefutable laws of leadership. Today, we are going to talk about laws 15 through 21. Law number 15, the law of victory. Victorious leaders possess an unwillingness to accept defeat. The alternative to winning is totally unacceptable to them. The people with the most success have tenacity and passion. They will do whatever it takes to not lose. Here are a few ways to become more victorious. Have a unity of vision. As a leader, you must get everyone working together. No one can have their own personal agenda. Have a diversity of skills. Each person on the team needs to bring their part to create synergy. When you fill positions, think about how everyone will work together to produce the best result. Consider each person's strengths and weaknesses to fill in any gaps. Be dedicated to victory and raising people to their greatest potential. You can have a great group of players, but without great coaching, failure is entirely possible. Coaching is what takes people to championships by providing strategic insight, guidance, and motivation. Law number 16, the law of the big mo. You cannot kindle a fire in any other heart until it is burning within your own. Small wins create momentum towards larger goals. Small losses also have the reverse effect. As a leader, it is your job to create momentum. Here are a few ways to increase and create momentum. Be passionate, show optimism, and be a motivating and driving force. Show your team the character of a winner. How do winners think and act differently than people who aren't focused on victory? Remove any roadblocks to momentum. What seems to slow people down? Look for demotivating factors and remove them. Show gratitude and give praise when someone accomplishes their goals, no matter how big or small. Find a way to celebrate the contributions from each person on your team. Law number 17, the law of priorities. A leader is the one who climbs the tallest tree, surveys the entire situation, yells, wrong jungle. Leaders know that busyness does not lead to accomplishment. Setting the right priorities does. Here are a few ways to get clear on your priorities. Know what is required of you. What can you work on that no one else can? Pinpoint your top strengths. What jobs and tasks are in alignment with those? You only want to do jobs that produce the greatest return. Speaking of strengths, if you want to learn more about that, check out this video here. Focus on rewards. When do you feel the happiest? What would you do for free? Which priorities are essential to your life? Think of the Pareto Principle, which states that 20% of what you work on will give you 80% of the return. So focus on that 20%. Law number 18, the law of sacrifice. The heart of good leadership is sacrifice. Oftentimes people glamorize being a leader. But the greater your vision and mission, the greater the sacrifices you need to make as a leader. In other words, your rights decrease as your responsibilities increase. Here are a few ways to get clear on what you need to be willing to sacrifice. Make a list of things that you are willing to give up versus what you are not. Consider the trade-offs that you can make to become more successful in business and in life. Cure yourself of destination disease by changing your mindset to think of leadership as a lifelong practice. Law number 19, the law of timing. When the right leader and the right timing come together, incredible things happen. As the old adage goes, timing is everything. Who's there? Knock, knock. Timing. When a leader acts, there are only four results. The wrong action at the wrong time is disaster. The right action at the wrong time produces resistance from your team. The wrong action but the right time also produces a mistake. The right action at the right time produces success. To make a good decision at the right time, here are a few things to take into consideration. 
have a good understanding of the situation. Keep your motives from being self-serving. For example, if you are an immature leader, you might be seeking fortune or fame. This could cause you to make stupid decisions at the wrong time. Be confident about the actions that you take and the choices that you make. Consult and talk to others who have successfully navigated through what you are going through right now. Trust your intuition and your gut. Consider how well prepared your team is to handle the action that you choose. Is your team ready to make your goal a reality? Law number 20, the law of explosive growth. Leadership development compounds. The more you invest in people and the longer you do it, the greater the growth and the higher the return. The key to experiencing massive growth is not to lead followers, but to develop and lead other leaders. This is how your influence spreads and you start experiencing exponential momentum and impact. Here are a few ways to exponentially multiply your leadership. Look for people who are consistently influential and push them to excel. Tell other people about your vision and show them your strategic plan to accomplish that. Then paint a portrait of a better future for them. Communicate that you have a flexible, exciting, and creative environment for them to operate in. Keep growing your own leadership abilities to stay ahead of the group. This will help you provide value for their lives. Law number 21, the law of legacy. My life sentence is, I want to add value to leaders who will multiply value to others. What do you want other people to say at your funeral? The life that you live now will determine the legacy that you leave behind in the future. Here are some ways to develop your leadership legacy. Know the purpose of your life. What are the unique gifts and skills that you have been blessed with that drive the most impact? Don't wait until tomorrow to start your legacy. Start now. Invest in leaders who will help carry on your legacy. Create a succession plan that will allow you to pass the baton to someone else for them to be just as successful, if not more successful than you are. If you want to be a better leader, subscribe and check out this video.